Friday, Saturday night, it's time for the packet. Yo, Abdul, come closer. So let me tell you something about this, especially for those that haven't done it. So if I pour this out, yeah? Let's get on it, let's get fucking on it. So someone, if you ain't never done this, there we go, normally use a card. There you go, put that number one, use a card. Make sure it's all bashed up. Now listen, before I do this, before I roll this up and I bang that out, yeah? Let me tell you something about this. If I put that to you and say, look, you can have this, you might feel good. For average, they say statistically up to nine minutes before you start dropping down. Then all night, you probably think you can start pranging, you're gonna be wanting more. Then your whole mindset of literally going out and having a good night will literally all evolve about having this, yeah? And next thing you know, a couple of days later, you could be in a random place, leaving yourself in a vulnerable situation where anything can happen to you. And another thing is you don't know what the fuck is in that after time. Yeah, that's the thing you've got to remember. And next thing you know, before you know it, you'll be sitting there having panic attacks, anxiety attacks. You can end up pranging out, making a fucking mockery of yourself, mugging yourself, selling your fucking soul for this. But don't worry, it's all right. Literally. It'll be fine. Just go with your mates, just have a little fucking two. I only want one. No, you'll be fucking ringing the people up, chasing all fucking night. And the thing is, if you go in that special pool, you probably won't even get a rock on either. The only thing rocks you get is literally hanging out your fucking nose the next day and sitting there white shot over wiping your fucking nose. You're walking around in fucking rags of clothing. But it's fine anyway. This ain't coke, this is flour. I'm in recovery. I'm now 30 days, 32 days clean. For those that go through it or relate to this video, you know exactly what it is. But this is like educational purposes for people that are going to go out and probably going to do this. Listen, having willpower saying hard, it's no. Especially if you had a couple of drinks. Yeah? And those that are going through it, if you're falling off, it's Friday, Saturday night. Just remember, don't when you go out, oh yeah, we just met up for food. It never fucking ends the food. You might as well just say, nah, mate, let's skip the fucking food. Let's just go get straight on it. Let's just start and go on a fucking three-day session. And who knows what could fucking happen. This is the reality of this shit. I know. Why? Because I'm a fucking addict. Even now, even I'm still fighting. Every day is a battle to keep the devil away. The devil's fucking danger. Nothing good can come from this. Yes, you'll make memories. On the flip side, you'll probably have a laugh. You'll probably make memories. But for me, in my personal experience, and many people I know, this shit fucking takes our soul. So listen, just be fucking careful. I ain't trying to preach to you. This is my passion. And I'm just trying to enlighten people and just try to show people the educational purpose side of it from the way I word it. Listen, all my strugglers that are going through it, recovery is possible. Take them actions to do it. I believe in you. You can fucking do it, I swear to you. And remember four letters. Everybody's doubting you. You might have fallen off before. You think, fuck it, I can't keep going. I can't bother, I've tried it. Then keep fucking trying and keep going. Sort your fucking head out. Put your hand down your trousers. Grab your balls and remember who the fuck you are. Get up and sort it out.